Hey everybody, CatSynth TV, and today we are looking at the SVF201 State Variable Vactrol Filter from Coma Electronic. Coma are perhaps best known for their popular field kit, which we demoed a while back. We'll put a link to that at the top and in the description below. First, what exactly is a Vactrol filter? A Vactrol is a combination of a light source and a light-sensitive resistor. When the light source is off, the resistor blocks the flow of current. As the light increases, the resistance decreases and more current flows through the resistor. We say that the two circuits are optically coupled but electrically isolated from one another. Early Vactrols used incandescent lamps, but modern versions use LEDs, which are faster and longer lasting. Vactrols have long been used in amplifiers and compressors, and have made their way into analog synthesizers, where they are used in filters, low-pass gates, and other modules. The SVF201 is a state-variable Vactrol filter with low-pass, band-pass, and high-pass states. There is an audio input and separate outputs for the low-pass, bandpass, and high-pass, respectively. There is also a mix output for all three states at once. You can dynamically select among the states with the knob here or via the CV input here. We have a cutoff control with this beautiful and easy-to-use large knob. It's even got this backlighting, so if I turn off our stage light, you can really see it. Woo! We also have a resonance control, and of course the cutoff and resonance each have their own CV inputs. Okay, and now let's finally make some noise with this filter. We are sending in a sawtooth wave from our trusty Mini Brute 2 and taking the low pass output. First, let's try with the resonance all the way down. Crank the resonance up a bit. A really nice tone, and now a bit higher. Not surprisingly, it can really scream at high resonance. Now let's try the bandpass. Turn up the resonance a bit. And a bit more. And finally the high pass. Add resonance. And crank it up. Now let's try the mix output, where we can dynamically move among the three states. Now we'll attach an LFO from the Mini Brute to the Select CV in order to sweep through the filter states.
change cutoff along with the LFO state modulation. Increase the LFO rate. Notice that we can get into audio rate modulation. Traditionally, Vectral filters don't respond well to audio rate modulation, but this one has a fast response, so it does. Okay, now let's attach an ADSR filter to the cutoff modulation input. <laughs> Now, as we mentioned, the SVF201 handles audio rate control signals quite well. So let's return to the low pass output and attach oscillator 1 from the Pittsburgh modular generator to the cutoff CVN. <laughs> Go to high frequency ranges. Let's try with the bandpass mode. And let's go to the mix output and reconnect the LFO to the state CV input. Okay, in this final demo, we use the sequencer on the Mini Brute to drive the sawtooth pitch and envelope for the cutoff frequency. We keep the LFO attached to the state modulation and attach Gen 1 from the generator module to the resonance CV input. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
We hope that you've enjoyed this look at the SVF201 Vectral filter. To find out more, please visit comaelectronic.com and check out the description below this video. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe to CatSynth TV. 